make it very clear. It is inconceivable on September 1st that armed men invaded Camp Ashraf and the Maliki government knew nothing. It's not, it's not possible. It's inconceivable that there are seven hostages being held in Iraq and the Maliki government knows nothing. Now, first of all, if the Maliki government truly knew nothing, why would you want them as a partner? Because they don't know anything. But the fact is they do know. And they have been acting as the ally of the Iranian dictatorship, which of course hates any element that wants to bring freedom to Iran. I hope that the president today will make very clear that a partnership has to go both ways. That if Prime Minister Maliki is here asking for our help, he needs to earn that help by doing several key things. One is by protecting the people who are at Camp Liberty and taking responsibility for ensuring that they are safe until we can get enough visas for everyone to move to other countries to be safe. Second, he should today pledge that the seven hostages will be released and that his government will do everything it has to to track them down. Third, we should demand that he find out who has been involved, not just on September 1st, but in all of the attacks which have killed people because there have been elements of the Iraqi government engaged in all of these attacks and those people should be identified and punished and it should be made clear that you cannot violate the lives of innocent people without a consequence. The United States has two reasons for asking the president to take this firm position. The first is a moral reason. If you ask every military person who is involved, they will tell you, we gave our word. The more the honor of the United States, the word of the United States is involved. And therefore, we have a profound moral reason to insist that Maliki, in fact, live up to his part of this. But there's a second practical reason. <clears throat> if Maliki is so in debt to the Iranian dictatorship that he can't protect the people of Camp Liberty, if he is so afraid of the Iranian dictatorship that he can't turn over the people or responsible, if he is so indifferent to the interest of the United States that he can't release the seven hostages, why would we consider him a partner? What he will then have proven to us at a practical level is that he is an Iranian puppet who is unworthy of American support. Now he has to choose. If he wants to be with the Americans, then he has to agree to do things that fit the pledges that were made. But let me go a step further. I know it's not the immediate purpose of this, but I don't want to be here with all of you and not make one additional point. The United States gave its word that it would help the folks if they left Camp Ashraf and went to Camp Liberty. And the United States has an obligation to provide moral leadership by doing our share and taking care of folks that we gave our word to. I am delighted you all are here. I think this is an important moral cause. I do not believe we will ever cut a deal with, with the current new phony moderate, Rouhani, who was handpicked by Khomeini as part of the continuing effort to deceive the West. The fact is, our interest is to replace the dictatorship of Iran to get to a sound democracy that is stable and nonviolent in Iraq Thank you, and I urge all of you, stay involved.